What's going on everybody? My name is Rico and this is my Pokemon Sword and Shield Road to Master Tier Journey. I hope you enjoy. Before I tell you guys what Pokemon I use for the team, let me tell you about the restricted format. This format allows you to use two restricted legendary Pokemon, which at first I didn't know what that meant, but as I was building the team, I kind of looked around on both in my Discord, which if you guys haven't joined already, the link will be down in my description. But I also looked on YouTube trying to see what Pokemon stacked up. And I wasn't really sure because new to the uh, VGC scene, wasn't exactly a pro. So I reached out to my buddy River Pasta, and he kind of helped me break down a team and really just explain the format better to me because I normally do singles so when I heard it was doubles I had no idea how good a move like protect really was I thought it was kind of okay but when I started playing doubles I understood that um it's really crucial it's like really critical so I send a message to River Pasta at like who knows when not thinking he was gonna respond and he responded and he was like, yeah, sure, I'll help you build a new team for VGC. So gets in a call with me and we just decide, all right, what are we doing? What are you thinking? What are you thinking? And I had saw some YouTubers using Sun Teams and I was like, I want to build a Sun Team, but I don't want to base it off of their stuff. So I went with Groudon as my first pick, set up the Sun, easy pick. I didn't want to go with Torkoal because when he told me restricted Pokemon, Groudon was by far the best choice. So, after that I needed a partner with Groudon. I wasn't even thinking about maybe Venusaur with like Chloroform. I just thought if I go Charizard, G-Max, that's pretty cool. If I go with that. And after picking said Charizard, River Pots was like, why not go with Venusaur? Why not throw that guy in there? He could sleep out or something and he'll be faster in the sun. So, <clears throat> already we had half the team ready to go, and he saw Moltres, I had the Glaren Moltres on my team, and he said, why don't I just put Yveltal, it's just way better than Moltres, plus way tankier if you get the Assault Vest, so I just followed his lead, what am I, what am, I don't know anything, he knew everything, so I put Yveltal, cool, what else am I gonna pick, uh, why not, like, you know, something fast, like, you know, Reggie Lucky. Throw that on there. It's like a nice outspeedy Pokemon. So cool. Throw it on there. Wild card. And then I thought, I need another Pokemon. I couldn't think of anything. And he said, throw in Cineroar. Because the Intimidate and the Parting Shot, Fake Out. And that right there was just enough for me to say, yeah, you know, this is the team I want. The goal was simple go from beginner ball tier all the way to master ball. Now, I thought, wow, that's really intimidating. There's no way I'll be able to get there. I've never even gotten Master Ball previously. Like, I've never even done VGC. There's no way. Like, I'm too new. But Ruva Pasta gave me that confidence that I could probably do it. So do me a favor. Sit back, relax, and enjoy my journey to the top. And you know what? Hit that subscribe button if you want to see me hit number one in the world at some point. Maybe go and actually become world champion. I don't know. Leave a like, comment what you would have done differently if you tried VGC. Anything ranked. And overall, just tell me your favorite Pokemon. What's up guys? I'm playing some Pokemon today. Why is my guy not doing the thing? Whatever. Check out my guy. He's got his little outfit. He's looking like a real sponsored guy right now. Try to climb that VGC ladder. I spent all day yesterday with my pal River Pasta. We went over some teams. River Pasta. That's his name. <laughs> That's an awesome name. There we go. We found somebody. <laughs> Rick. Alright, so looking at his team right now, he doesn't have any restricted Pokemon. 
I think his strategy is to probably use the Grim Snarl. Not Grim Snarl. What am I talking about? The uh, Dreadnought. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, I'll just go with Yveltal. Hey, this guy's copying my style. Wow. You should sue him. I will. Look at his flaming eyes. Oh, perfect. I think I'll switch Incineroar out for Groudon, and Dynamax into G-Max Vine Lash against Dreadnought, just to get some passive damage out there. I feel like that weaker wall is gonna go for Agility or something. Could. Set up the Sun. In. He's fucking shit up. Uh... Oh. What's he doing? Venusaur is just built different, man. He's you and Dreadnought? Oh, he is doing oh. Dreadnought. Okay, so we're both going Gigantamax. Let's go. Oh, shit. Bro, is cool. <laughs> it's crazy how huge these Pokemon are. I just took them out. <laughs> just took them out. <laughs> <laughs> Instant kill. Yeah, he would have watched him that found him. No, no. Yep, and then he used to fly. He flew high in the sky. He uses fly. What? Okay. Is that set? Holy shit. I think this guy like just got into a uh, VGC, which is fine. I think he just got into Pokemon. Nobody uses fly on that Pokemon. Alright, so he's using Haxorus. He's hacking. Um... I mean, look out for that one-shot move. <laughs> I want to protect the Groudon right now. Yeah, see what and... he has. I forget what Max Ooze does. Raises all Pokemon special attack. Max Quig, their special defense. Let's go with Max Ooze against his Haxorus. Hey, not switch. How are you doing? Oh, he canceled. He left. No. Alright, so the sun is up. I think we have to sleep powder the Charizard. We gotta put him to sleep. Uh, let's go for Rock Slide, and we'll Sleep Powder the Charizard. And the only reason why I say that is because just in case he swaps, I'll Sleep Powder whoever's there. And if he doesn't die, then I'll Sleep Powder the Whimsicott. I don't know about that one, Chief. Okay, this is even better. They're not bringing competitive to Diamond and Pearl? Okay. That's fine. I'll use Tailwind. Oh, yeah, what? Yeah, targeting the Groudon? Out. That's kind of crazy. <clears throat> Why not ta target the Venusaur? Okay, we put him to sleep. And now we can bring out Yvel Tall. Ow. Or, you know, let's bring out Regieleki just to help take out that Charizard. Regieleki will help us. Let's 
let's do Electro Web on both of his Pokemon. We'll Sludge Bomb the this thing. Lowered their speed, so now we should outspeed this time. Charizard's not going to survive much longer. Even with the Tailwind, we still we got this. Let's do that again, but this time we're going to swap the Venusaur for the Evil Toll. I won't switch on him. Fine switch. That was a okay switch. Oh, uh, we took damage. It's alright. It's alright. Now we can die to Max our U Beltel. Since he can't die to Max anymore, we're set. Reggie Rock. Ooh. That Reggie Rock is tanky. Oh shit. Yes, it is. But he doesn't have the tailwind anymore. After this turn. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Now we can bring out Venusaur. And the sun is still up. Hopefully the sun stays out. Okay, good. So let's Leaf Storm. Leaf Storm the Regirock. And then... Uh, Max Airstream, this thing. Not much that special defense. If without it, I think tank. Oh, I missed. No, that's so unfortunate. We still got one more turn in our Dynamax. So got one more turn. But the sunlight faded. Damn. Uh, that's really unfortunate. And here comes the dragon ball. Yeah. With tailwind. I don't think. <laughs> tailwind, but I did use uh, the hurricane thing. The max air yeah, but So I should. I could I don't probably. Think you're up -speeded. I don't know if he's up speeded. I gotta use my max you darkness and take him you out. You will outspeed the rage you are, but not the... Let's see what happens. I mean, I doubt they could kill you. Oh, we survived. Perfect. We survived. There's nothing to... Oh, 
All right, we just can't miss the Leaf Storm. Come on, Venusaur, let's go. Hit it. Yes, there we go. Victory Screech! <laughs> so in the lower tiers, I was feeling pretty good, confident. Was winning a couple matches against newer people, kind of like myself. Feeling real confident in the team that me and River Pasta both built. But then, ran to the first hurdle of my journey to Master Ball. Send out Mungus, the most sus Pokemon there is. <laughs> it's an imposter. <laughs> my shiny Incineroar versus his non shiny. I feel like his Incineroar is going to outspeed me. Okay, uh, you see how your Intimidate went first before his? Yes. That means that you are going to outspeed him because the abilities activate in order of speed. Right. What if it's a speed tie, though? True, if it's a speed tie, then it's a 50-50, but he's running speed on his Incineroar, like, Rico is running speed on his Incineroar, so, um, most likely, that means he outspeeds. Alright, so what I'll do is, I'll fake out the Among Us, just to, like, make sure he doesn't put my Incineroar to sleep, or anything. And then I'll just Earth Power the, uh, the other Incineroar. Oh, he's got Rocky Helm, that sucks. We just did the same move. So one thing I forgot, which being a new player just completely didn't even cross my mind, that grass types are immune to said sleep. So if I had just faked out the Cineroar because I was faster than him, I could have just put him to sleep with Sleep Powder and then maybe just switched into Groudon on my next turn. It was at this point in the match that I realized the aggression level of my opponent was slowly outpacing my own. And as you can see right here, one of the Pokemon that I utilize a lot, the Venusaur, was about to get hit really hard. Will that kill me? Yes, it will. Damn. That's fine, I can just parting shot the thing. Bring out Charizard and, uh... Yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah, you can bring out Charizard and Groudon now. And then you have to beat the Kyogre. So, you can just, like, Dynamax the Charizard and... and... Actually, yeah, Quake the Incineroar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you get a special defense boost, and it's a special attack dropped. And then you win the game. Uh... It was actually smart of you to bring out Groudon first though like because because yeah like it only lets you bring out the one first and then the other uh but bringing out ground first before the turn ended means that you didn't take hail chip on charizard which is good right yeah. you know i'll remember that for next time uh precipice blades or should i just protect just try to hit both uh it's up to you honestly you're getting a special defense boost from max quake maybe i should switch uh, dance just like because I have it here anyway, I might as well. Swords dancing is a little bit greedy, but you know what? You could go for it. You know what? Let's just be greedy this game, you know? Because you, you can get airstream boosts uh, with Charizard, I suppose, yeah. I think the Incineroar is going to try to fake out the uh, Groudon. So either way, I don't think it's going to matter. Ah, uh, true. If, if he's going to fake out the Groudon, then the play would have been to... Protect. protect, but if he tries to fake out the Charizard, then you just win. Oh, I, I outspeed anyway. I don't think. Oh, he does have fake out. Okay, you just click something else. Cool. I don't know what he clicked. Maybe he ran out of time. It didn't look like he did, but. Because I want the weather control, I think. Uh, no, no. I think this would be fine. It doesn't matter if the rain is up right now. Because then I'll just max airstream whatever he brings out. And then hit the Kyogre. Mm -hmm. Depends what he brings out. If it's a Moongus, you can just airstream it. 
Okay, since it's Zacian, it's a little... No, you can still airstream the Kyogre plus uh, Pessimus Blades into it. But still... Yeah, because I feel like he's going to try to protect it, so I'll just airstream the Kyogre, Precipus Blades. Yeah. Because I feel like that's the strat he's going to protect. No, he yeah, yeah. Behemoth Blade. Oh, okay. I guess Groudon. Oh, wait, does that kill? Yeah, it kills Groudon. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Whatever. I still got uh, Incineroar. Yeah, you're right, you're right. <clears throat> Does plus one Charizard out speed and Zacia? I think it will. Uh, yes, it does. Okay. So will he survive a water, wild though? Fire. No, he won't. Oh, he did! <gasps> He's a god! Yeah, because you have. Because Kyogre has minus one special attack from Parting Shot, you have plus one special defense from right. Axe Quake. <laughs> so you just barely live. Alright, so either this <clears throat> Zacian user is a mad lad, and he doesn't have Protect, or he does have Protect, and he's gonna do it next turn. Yeah. Um... I wanna, I wanna fake out the Kyogre, because I feel like he's gonna Protect the Zacian. Ooh, wait, Kyogre's out of Dynamax. Okay, yeah, you can win this game, okay. So, There's still a chance. Not a very good chance, because Charizard's gonna die this turn. Yeah, but... should, I, should I G-Max Wildfire the Zacian? Actually, you know what? I think... I think you should just for, for the residual damage. I don't think you're going to win this game, honestly, because Charizard is dead, which means you'll only have Incineroar to fight everything. But, yeah, go for it. <laughs> um, so, should I... F you know what? I'm going with my original plan. I'm going to fake out the uh, Kyogre, because I believe he has Protect, and he's going to try to Protect right now. Yeah, yeah. Fake Unless he's a Mad Lad. He's probably a Mad Lad. Oh, no, he would Drew it. He is crazy. The thing is that no matter what happens, uh, Charizard dies from Life Orb Recoil this turn. And then Incineroar just doesn't have the offense to break through this entire team. Right. Damn. I did not expect to protect from the Kyogre. That's okay, though. This should kill this. Oh, it didn't. Oh, well, it's gonna die at the end of the turn. I just expect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let's just flare blitz the, uh, Zacian. Why not? So I was right. He didn't have Protect. So if he didn't redraw right then he would have died. Okay. So after a four hour stream of uh, just constant either I lost or I got some lucky wins I was able to get into the Great Ball tier. And day one, because I split this into like three days of playing this game, came to a conclusion. This is day two of my Road to Master tier. Once I got to this tier, I was feeling really confident in my 15 wins, four losses. I thought, this team is just unstoppable. Nobody can take me down. Oh my god, it's shiny Charizard and Groudon. And Regieleki and Venusaur. 
Well, I mean, only one of them is shiny. Uh, let's see. Oh my god, it's Rico! Very pog moment right now. This is the fight of the century. A Charizard versus a Venusaur. But I got Regieleki, so I'm feeling pretty good right now. Oh, he's Dynama he's Gigantamaxing too. No way he survives. And if he does, it's crazy. I'm gonna hit him with a thunderbolt with a magnet. I don't think he'll survive. Oh, there goes the Groudon. Uh... Oh, he survived. That's alright. We're gonna survive, too. No, we're not. <laughs> the G-Max Wildfire is gonna kill us. But I think our G-Max move is gonna kill him, too. So... Should be alright. We lost one Pokemon, but he lost two. So it's okay. And we both lost our Gigantamax, so I still think it's my game. Why don't we send out Yvetel? Send out the Zacian. Maybe we should have brought out Incineroar. Protect the Reg Regieleki from the fake out. Uh, Oblivion Ring, the this thing. I knew it. I knew it. Ah, <laughs> my gamer instincts kicking in. Just had a citrus berry. Now, here's the important moment. Should I Volt Switch or should I Thunderbolt? I think a Thunderbolt would be enough to take it out, but I'm not sure. You know what? Let's just go all in Thunderbolt. And then, uh. You know what? Let's just. I'll play the thing if it, if it survives I don't think it will damn You know what? That's fine, though, because he used, uh... 
he used protect, so that means I can bring out Grauda on press physical. You know, hit him with a ground type move. Should be okay. You can't focus on both Pokemon at the same time. Like you can't take them both down, is what I mean. I, I misclicked, kinda. Like, I looked at the move, and I just, like, subconsciously just clicked it. I don't know what that means. Oh, okay, we got him. He's gonna, de he's gonna definitely try to go for the uh, Groudon. Maybe he doesn't know we have Protect. So maybe he'll try to go like an all-out fight. So let's Protect. And then Oblivion Ring, this thing. Oh no, he big brained us, no! After this loss, I decided I'm going to go into a different direction with the whole team. So I started working on a Trick Room team, and I sent it to River Pasta, and he said, this could work. Perfect. The plan was simple. If I set up the Trick Room with the Dusclops, I'll be able to outspeed everything else that my opponent threw at me. But just in case the Dusclops didn't work out, I had Dialga there with the Trick Room, just in case. I also through in Rillaboom, so if I run into a ND who tries to set up Psychic Terrain, he's slow enough to set up Grassy Terrain and counter her. I also threw in Stataka, just like, you know, some extra, like, attacking Pokemon, and Amoongus, just in case I run into, like, another Trick Room team, I'll be able to just Spore Powder them and they won't be able to do a thing. Unless this Calyrex has Taunt, which would be weird if his Pokemon had Taunt. I don't believe it does. It's mostly the attacking thing. I'm actually shocked that he used uh, Calyrex first. Maybe he was trying to get the sweep on the spots. Which I very much doubt. It's like, you're not gonna take out Dusclops like that. I know Calyrex is strong, but no way.
Um, I should grass. No. Let's go for the U turn. Um. And then I'll just hard swap. Oh my god. But hey, I got my weakness policy off. So that's something. Hopefully we can pull this off. Wow. I didn't think I thought Wide Guard would protect me, but okay. I'll just max hail onto you, and then for just double rock slide, just try to take both of them out. Since my tower is basically gonna go first, hopefully he doesn't miss. If he missed, that would be really awkward. tried to taunt me, but you see, I'm actually attacking. Alright, I just gotta hope my paralysis luck is just up there. How many, tur how many more turns do I have a trick room? Got one one turn left on the trick room. So Alright. 
Calyrex dies, it's whatever, but I want to make sure I take out Groudon. He hasn't Dynamaxed either, so he's probably going to try to go into Charizard Dynamax. So why don't we just double... Double hit it. Yes, I knew it. Now, if my Paralysis doesn't stop me, I'll be able to take it out. However, if I, if I get paralyzed right now, I'm done for. Dunzo. There we go. There we go. We're doing it. I don't even think I needed the crit. Now we reestablish the weather. Oh, I didn't die. And I got the Glacial Lance. Let's go. Take him out. Let's go. No, I don't want to continue battling. I want to see my rank right now. Did I make it? I need to know. Yeah, there we go. I'm number that in the world. I literally just like ran out of my chair to go tell people and there was nobody here to tell so now I'm sad. But I'll tell you guys because you're here. I just wanted to thank everybody in my Twitch chat, the people in my Discord, and you who are watching this YouTube video that without that support you guys keep giving me for, you know, doing stuff like this. I don't think I ever would have just had the motivation to continue so thank you for watching this and maybe i'll do a ranked singles in like the future but until then i'll leave my twitch link in the description if you want to go watch me live or you know battle me whichever one you prefer and leave a comment of what you thought leave a like tell me if you know i could have done something better with my teams and thanks for watching